<coughs> so I've been sat here. It's the third time I've pressed record. Uh, thinking about what I'm going to say about this video. Um, because it's amazing. But I think I, I'm actually literally in shock. Um, so I've just, um, I've just booked and paid to go away in, uh, <clears throat> on my birthday in March. I'm going to have to, um, Muller. I'm stopping in a, a spa wellness hotel. Um, about five minutes down the road from one of my best humours on the planet, my friend Joe and her family. And I'm going to go in to see the Hypergeum, which is the first ever underground thing that I ever saw. It made me think, how bizarre is that? And start questioning. So, And I watched a thing called Megalomyth... No. Megala... I can't remember what it's called. Megalithomania. Other day. Literally other day. Um, no, in fact, it was Megalithomania. I watched um thingy's new documentary on Netflix about origins at work and blah 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 and how well things really are and I keep discovering new stuff older and older and it went back and it dated the oldest human or whatever modern man remains and two completely ancient structures that look nothing like each other but are obviously way 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 old older than them Whatever that place is that they're digging up at the minute, it was days old. And a place called Hagar Kim, which I didn't even know there, on a little island called Goza, which is next door to Malta, but it's part of Malta's territory. So I'm going to go up, see three different megaliths, and, and the other thing, I, it sounds like I can't even pronounce what it's called. I've seen it loads of times, but I don't know how to say it. Um, and I'm in shock because <laughs> I just had a massive flashback not a flashback but a lit well it was like a not an out of body experience but like a an inner body experience it, it was like it was like pre-knowing backwards which should be knowing which it kind of is what I'm saying is I felt I literally felt myself in a moment of thought like I was having that th when I were having that thought three years ago and it's just so crazy how it's been a shit 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 year and it's been a crazy two before that and about two weeks ago, I thought I'd lose my mind. I thought we're done. I thought we're done. I thought I'd give in. And now, everything I've been working towards the last few years just happened like that. And I cannot explain or even comprehend the amount of different thoughts going on in my head I just know that I fucking got here I know I ain't gone yet but it's booked and paid for I've got my passport I've got my suitcase we've even started I've even got a bit of money saved up I said I was going to do it first of all I said that I wasn't going to be Agrophobic for the rest of my life because I had too much to give, too much potential, and wanted to make a difference. And even though I thought 
me with the fact that I'd never leave my house again, I did. It took me a lot of years, a lot of trauma, a lot of stress. But if you'd have told me five years ago that I'd have got myself into a situation where I could go do this, and achieve it <laughs> in one of the worst emotional and and mental health periods of my life. And I'm grieving. I lost a beautiful family member that was just, you know, so appalling, just died in two weeks. There's been a lot of changes, a lot of stress. Now, I'm going to find and collect that other part of me so that I can take over at work. <laughs> I'll explain it more in detail one day and you'll understand. But for those that do and those that have been there, couldn't have fucking done it without you. All I have to do is reach out. All I have to do is reach out. It's all about the love. Love, love those that love you. Those that don't love them anyway, just like letting them go. But at the end of the day, all that you have is your soul. Hmm. I've been up all night, I'm so tired, I'm going to go to sleep.